Listen. This sound is the first evidence of the Big Bang. And this is a story of two radio astronomers who discovered proof of the beginning of everything. This is the horn reflector antenna at Bell Laboratories. Robert, can you tell us what this thing does? It receives radio waves coming from the direction it's pointed to and funnels them into a receiver. That's Robert Wilson, radio astronomer. In the early 60s, he and his colleague Arno Penzias were tasked with measuring the brightness of the sky using the horn reflector antenna. But no matter where they pointed it, the antenna read a much larger signal than the pair expected. Our immediate reaction was that there must be something wrong with our system. They thought it might be interference from the horn itself, or New York City, or even some pigeons living in the horn. You know, we thought about a collection of ordinary sources that are in the very distance. That just didn't seem to be possible. So they reached out to a group of researchers at Princeton University led by astrophysicist Robert Dickey, who had been scouring the sky unsuccessfully for evidence of the Big Bang. Arno called and... Dickey picked up the phone and they started hearing things like atmospheric radiation, sky brightness, all the things that they were working on. Dickey put the phone down and said, boys, we've been scooped. Robert and Arno had measured what Dickey and his team were searching for, the elusive cosmic microwave background radiation. He thought about a Big Bang source of the universe, realized that it would be very hot and therefore full of radiation, and as the universe expanded, that radiation would simply cool. And whereas it was extremely hot to start with, by now it would simply be microwaves. Now it's so cold that it would just be radio waves. And this, not pigeons or the noisy city, was exactly what had been causing headaches for Robert Wilson and Arno Penzias. The two groups of researchers from Bell Labs and Princeton each wrote complementary research papers with their findings. They wrote one about the theory, we wrote one about our measurement, and we published them. I think unlike many changes that occur in science, uh, there really was a paradigm shift with very little pushback. It was huge. There was now evidence of a new theory for the beginning of the entire universe. Over a decade later, Robert Wilson and Arno Penzias were awarded the 1978 Nobel Prize in Physics. How'd that feel, Robert? Felt pretty strange to win the Nobel Prize. I didn't feel comfortable being on the same lifts with Einstein. But despite Robert's humility, there's no doubt of the significance of the discovery. It gives us our earliest picture of the universe from which we can extrapolate back to very early times. It's one of the centerpieces of cosmology.